So just thinking through what those goals are. So this is what I want you to spend some time doing right now is what do you want your landscape to do for you? What's your big picture vision? What do you hope to achieve? Financial stability, quality of life, food production, and then what's the fundamental reason for establishing your yard? So take just a couple minutes to jot down some of those goals. And if you don't have a piece of land where you want to design, this applies to life too, right? And, and I think that's what's important too in uh, permaculture and people within kind of the self-reliance movement is this, and we were talking about this yesterday and especially in light of Ricardo's talk around the history of agriculture in this country. You know, there are ways to become more self-reliant without land and there are ways to make connections with people, right? So even I think that this whole idea of property and ownership, we need to really rethink that um, and even Ricardo's talk yesterday got me thinking about how can we, you know, as, as our site, be a demonstration site. I've certainly invited people to come and help harvest and take some of that harvest away, but how can we further do that? But if you live in an apartment in Bozeman, you can still design a life that's self-reliant. You know, joining a community garden, walking and biking, mostly to your place of work or, or wherever you are. You know, there are ways to design, and that's why permaculture design, again, is this framework that can be applied at a landscape scale, like your backyard, but it can be applied at a neighborhood scale, it can be applied at a community scale in order to design um, better lifestyle. Because what we're thinking about is lifestyle redesign uh, when we're looking at how do we relocalize our food systems. So, Take a couple minutes to do that. <laughs> <laughs>